American embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan, came under fire this morning. Right now, there are hundreds of protesters. And the attack in Benghazi, Libya, that killed four Americans, including a U.S. ambassador. The detachment commanders and the watch centers both report in. We have almost two simultaneous courses running at the same time. The detachment commanders are the, the staff and COs that lead the detachments uh, at these embassies, and the watch standers are the ones, the sergeant of below, who perform the day-to-day -day operations at the embassies, such as standing post one and uh, taking care of all the collateral duties that they're assigned at their embassies. Right, Jeff, smile. And it's been a week long of uh, shooting the M9, the M870 shotgun, and the M4. These Marines need to know how to employ their weapons in any kind of dangerous situation. We do a great job here at MSG School teaching the Marines how to train and use, uh, use their weapons. My name is Sergeant Elliott, and I want to become a Marine Security Guard because I want to represent the Marine Corps worldwide. I want to take on responsibilities. This MSG program allows me to be a small unit leader. If they ever have someone inside the embassy that they need to uh, subdue, search, uh, control, they're going to have to handcuff that individual. In the event that uh, we have someone that's very large that needs to be controlled, subdued, uh, a Marine with a smaller stature can use that baton in order to take down that subject and to control them to remove them from the embassy. And that's one of the great things about here is the day's not the same every single day. So one day we might start out with a PowerPoint class on clearing rooms, and the next day I might be learning handcuffing. It's pretty nice to be, you know, doing something different every single day. The infamous board week, the Marines have to come in and they have to stand before a board of uh, five individuals that vote on whether they should stay or go. And a lot of that has to do with how their performance was at school, their background, their personal life, and then as the instructor advisor, through my observations as a detachment commander and the watch standards, I also make a determination of what my recommendation is for them to go out to post or to not and have to return to the fleet. Stack, stack, stack. Bomb stations, we, we run uh, Department of State tactics for our movement inside and outside of buildings. So we train all the Marines to those standards, whether they're going around corners, entering Face rooms, the my voice. Uh, searching for bombs, moving exterior Empire. outside the embassy if they had to, uh, responding to the embassy. Moving. We have uh, numerous stations set up to uh, teach the Marines that. and They run through probably uh, 40 plus hours of response training. When I was in Jamaica, we had gangs opening fire outside of the embassy, uh, having gang fights. We had to respond to all those Marines. And it's the training that they had here at MSG school which prepared them for the situations they had to respond to. Nice temperature in here. Just some PT. The OC spray in the gas chamber is probably the most difficult part of this school. I've never been OC sprayed. I mean, honestly, I can't control anything. Execute. Get back. All elbows. Ready. Strike. Get back. I'm gonna Ready. cry probably. Strike. Get back. Oh, there we go. OC. 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 I'm just gonna hold up. So when they get OC sprayed uh, in the face, it's definitely a, a eye-opening experience, and they, they've never experienced that before, and they still have to execute all the techniques. They have to be able to hit, kick, punch, take down an opponent, use their baton, and they've never really had to do that before, so it's a new experience for them. Uh, so it tests their ability, and it's also a huge confidence builder. I think that's probably one of the worst things I've ever done in my life.
when people walk inside the embassy, we're the first people they see. And not all the time you're going to be in Deltas or Charlies. You still need to, you know, have that professional appearance. They get suits, and then they will also have to purchase apartment state attire. They have to look very dignified, and so we want them to dress very professional, which would be a pair of dockers with nice shoes and a polo. I received orders to Lisbon, Portugal. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, it's really what it comes down to is the needs of the Marine Corps, and it, it makes it exciting for me because I don't know where I'm going to be going next, and I didn't know where I was going the first time. It makes it kind of exciting, keeps me on my toes.